Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So we will see in Karate today about the delete call as well or delete API as well. So first I'll give you an example that in gores.co.in, this is the API service URL where you can delete a user, public v1 users and you can pass the user ID in your path parameter. For example, let's see if you go to a postman and uh, I just check one user, for example, 101 user and this 101 user is something like this id equal to this some user is available here that bell jayanti patel okay and i want to delete this user so it will be a get call so you simply select the get call and nothing else and when you try to delete this user it will give you 204 response code no content and then see then the body also you are not getting anything it means the uh, user is deleted with the resource uh, the status code 201 204 actually and uh, <clears throat> we will do one thing we will try to get the same user once again and then we are hitting the server we are getting 404 not found it means resource not found message is coming meta is equal to null it means this user is completely deleted from the system so what we have to do we have to create a scenario first we will uh, create the user and then we will try to delete the user and then we will try to hit the get user once again okay so that we will verify that are we getting 404 not found or a resource not found error like that <coughs> so let's do it how to do that so this is what end-to-end -end scenario that we have to cover so i'll do one thing let me just create a new feature file so let's create a feature file that feature file is delete api dot feature something like this and uh, the scenario will be let me just delete that and I'll do one thing that the post API that we created right with the random uh, mail that I'm going to use it. So I'll just copy this. No need to write the same thing again and again. So this is the user that I'm going to create first create user. So scenario overall feature is for me is delete user API using delete API. Okay, so this is the URL. This is random string for the email ID that we are going to create that. And this is the payload that we are passing and we are going to remove this we are going to set the payload email and then we are printing it and then the scenario is that we have to delete a user with the given uh, what with the given user id so the idea is that uh, first we are going to create the user so this is my first thing that uh, you can write hash first step that uh, first create a user okay using what using a post call so see we are creating bearer token user got created and we are just checking the data id is present or not you don't need to write any other assertion if you want to write it you can write it over here like this then the second step is uh, we have to this is the second comment that i'm writing that delete the same uh, user but before that we have to fetch the user id so i'll say that the fetch the user id so how will you fetch it see this i can simply create one uh, variable with def and then this is my user id which is equal to a dollar data dot id from the response we are getting it here okay that we have already seen that that uh, <coughs> dollar dot data dot id this is the response that we are getting it and then data dot id that we are capturing it over here data and then some id will be there that we are capturing it okay and then whatever the user id storing it and then same user id i'll be using for my uh, deleting purpose so i'll do one thing i'll print this uh, user id as well here okay now how will you delete the user so to delete the user again we have to do the same thing so let me just copy this thing given this is a user and i'll just copy this entire all these steps and then I have to append my user ID over here plus with the user ID that you have captured because if you see the delete API in delete API you have to pass the 101 the user ID here you can see the documentation also forward slash 100 forward slash user ID that you have to use it so I'm using users and forward slash user ID here and then uh, we don't need any request payload so remove this header authentication we have to pass perfect and this is a delete call so you have to write a delete over here and what is the response that you are expecting so see this carefully <coughs> so response uh, here uh, we can check it manually first whenever you are going to delete the user 
so for example let's say i'm going to delete one one zero two user so for deleting you are getting two zero four no content okay so we are expecting two zero uh, four here and uh, if you are expecting in the body nothing so we just need to verify that while after deleting it we just want to verify that the status is 204 or not and then i want to do what then i want to uh, get the same user with the same user id with the get call right so to hit the get call uh, we can take this get api dot feature steps that we can quickly pick it from here so for example given url is this and uh, we can pass the path over here get and 200 okay and uh, come here so given url base url is this and then we have to pass the path so path is what in my case it will be see if you see the get call the get call means uh, you can pass in the same uh, url also if you want to pass it if you don't want to write the path so you can remove it given users or you can directly write that forward slash plus user id here method is equal to get and the status is equal to 200 not not 200 when you delete the user in the same user if you try to get it once again see 102 i'm trying to get it here it will give you 404 not found so now i'm expecting 404 not found okay and if you really want to uh, match some assertion from the dollar uh, like this dollar dot uh, data so let's see what is the assertion that we are getting data dot message i am picking it up so data dot message should be equal to equal to what it should be equal to equal to uh, this thing resource not found something like this okay so what we can do is that we can write it should be equal to resource not found so i'll repeat quickly first we are creating this is my background this is my service url gorus.co.in i mean the specific api url and then uh, this is a random string function that i have created which will run data random string printing it and this is my request payload because first time we have to send the request with the payload and then in the payload i'm not going to pass the hard coded email id passing the random id and then um, gmail.com and then i'm creating a user using the post call so that's why this is a post call expecting 1201 the user got created yes data id is uh, present over here and then from this particular response the first call post call response fetch the user id i'll write from the response okay and then data.id printing it and using the same user id over here like this and then uh, then i'm using the delete the uh, same user and uh, beta token delete api so method will be delete over here in small letter i'm expecting 204 and get the same user id with the user id and this is my again the url uh, and uh, get call and then status 404 and the message should be resource not found here you don't need to put the message why because here you're not getting anything in the response body so let's see it is actually working or not so I do one thing right click on it run configuration and i'll select this particular delete api so this is my i would say new configuration and youtube practice project and uh, i have to select the delete api dot feature let's see it is working or not so run as this here you can see that yeah so if we call all the different things awesome zero failure nice and then we will see this particular uh, uh, report as well in the new tab with the browser here you can see the delete api dot feature and the complete report that we are getting it here it always a good practice that you put a comment so that you will see the same comment in the report as well so here you can see that uh, we are a token method post this is the thing that we have created this is the uh, uh, payload that we are passing see this is a random email id is coming and uh, 201 user id that we are printing and see this 4885 user id got created same user id will be appended over here so that's why if you see this delete method see 4885 will be appended over here and then after that uh, get call same user id will be used over here 4885 and this is giving you actually what this is giving you uh, 404 and here it's giving you 204 you can cross check 4885 user let's see 
we'll pick this particular information 4885 using the get call in postman and when you see this this user is not available perfect so this is absolutely working fine and the data is also matched like message also matched that resource not found here so when you see this this is a complete uh, <clears throat> a scenario got executed with the three uh, uh, three different calls one is post call delete call and then get call so this is how you have to generate the scenario like this case nicely written perfect so please practice let me know if you have any issues i'll share this uh, code in my repository as well you can just access that and then you can now automate get call post put delete and then we will see uh, one video on patch also and then we will see some basic features of other features of karate as well like that perfect thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs i hope you like this particular karate series it's very sim simple very straightforward you can easily immediately start writing your api automation after watching all these videos thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all